Welcome everybody here in Twitch chats and also on YouTube if you're watching this video later on over there. For our next deck here on this Wednesday where this is our first time to be able to play the these uh, decks with the new 3D animations for some of the cards. Uh, we started off with 15,000 gems today. We're down to just 2,000 because we spent cards for the quasi duplet Ooze, which we just played. And the 3D cards certainly helped us get that 5-0. And now we're going to try it with Grixis Discard. We don't have as many cards in Grixis Discard overall, but we got some for these 3D yards. We have Duress, which that is freaky looking. We have Search Rose Canta. So thankfully, the with Quasi Dupla Ooze, we didn't really see any performance issues with the cards. But to be fair, our games were going pretty quick. We weren't really uh, taking up a whole lot of time. This Thought Erasure is maybe my favorite. That card looks amazing. Like that, that, that is like maybe my favorite. Um, so, I mean, Nicol Bolas is awesome, is awesome too. But now this Grixis Discard deck, as you know, the, these games can go a whole lot longer. Like our deck is not trying to win games pretty quickly at all. So we could certainly see uh, the, some slowdown and some lag later on in games. So hopefully not. But so far, so good with the 3D cards. So far, so good. Ooh, we got to get a, a card back. We used Selesnia last time. What do you think? Should we use the Swamp? No, I don't, I don't really play Modern anymore. Or do we use Selesnya again? We could use the green-white sleeve for the Grixis deck. And get all five colors. Yeah, I, I like how that, that Selesnya sleeve looks. It may not look as good with Grixis cards, though. We need to change our avatar, too, right? Like we, So we used... Angrath worked pretty well last time. We'll use Tristani. You don't have to go alone. Want to use these new avatars that we got. All right, let's get started. So we'll have our Selesnia Sleeve and our Tristani Avatar. So our opponent's thinking we're playing green-white, and then we play Grixis. Got to have all five colors in, though. Bolus is not in a bundle. Bolus is... Like, you just have to purchase Bolus on its own. Oh man, another another good hand. These three D three D cards are just mean you have you get all the three D cards, you get good hands all the time. You're predicting a four two, okay. All right, King Toll, have a good dinner. So what do I want to lead with here? As Kanta, Thought Erasure. The big thing we need to be scared of, so this is Gates. Yeah, big thing we need to be scared of is Guild Summit. Like Guild Summit's the card that we can't beat. So they could have Guild Summit as early as next turn. So I guess let's go ahead and go with the Thought Erasure here. All right, no Guild Summit, thankfully. I guess I'll just take this Ram. You know they don't they don't have green mana. But taking a Colossus. I could just take a Colossus, I guess. Somebody. I'll I'll just take the ram. Yeah. 
No, a lot of the lands have the 3D. Basics don't. I don't... Like, they cost a thousand gems to buy, like, Blood Crypts and stuff. I, di I didn't buy land a lot of the lands, because I want to keep the mana base looking the same. Um... All right, let's get the campaign trail going. The thing is, like, sheep is kind of easier for us to deal with in general. Like, if our opponent just top decked a green, now the sheep would be annoying. But sheep later on, we can steal with Angrath and kill it. Still no green mana. They kept Gates Ablaze, yet they only have two gates. So do I want to just throw out the Bolas here, make them discard another card? Or do I want to go Discovery, pick up the campaign, and Search. And get Search going. It's probably better to get Search going, honestly. Because this is the kind of matchup that I kind of want to like play Bolas late game and then flip it. Get rid of both of those. Which also it's not necessarily bad. It does kill Krasis and it kills Ram. We just don't need that right now. I kind of, I like how the card looks without moving around. I actually kind of don't really like the whole moving around part. That's my least favorite part of, like, these cards, is, like, how it moves around. I wish it would just stay still. Like, I like this. I like how it just stays still. Or, like, maybe a little bit of animation in the back. I, basically, if I just don't mouse over them, they don't really move. But look how cool that Ascanta looks. Like, that's a that's a magic card right there. Alright, they finally found green mana. The Plaza of Harmony now adds green. Um... Ever seen water burn? You will. Whoa. Damn your they had Contempt? Ram a new no fire. That is bad for no me. Speed. I was really relying on that Angrath. It's definitely relying on that Angrath. Alright, so now here comes the Colossuses. We need to find our contempts. We have three Contempts in the deck. Uh, we have two Bedevils as well. Those are the cards that we're looking for. Alright, there's Contempt number one.
We'll see if we can if we get real lucky, we can just draw the other Contempt, Contempt the Colossus, and play Bolas if we're real lucky. So, good news, those are all gone. Bad news is our other contempts down at the bottom of the library now. We're two mana away from playing Bolas, just playing Bolas and flipping it the same turn. We can like play Angrath next turn and then and then play Bolas, flip Bolas. Of course, Guild Summit's the like the main card we do not want to see our opponent have. Here, no fire, no steel. Um. Yeah, I'm just gonna activate Escanta. Yeah, we did get a couple Clutch Vrasses Contempts there. Basically, with us having Ascanta going, we don't necessarily need to Shiver my draw the extra card right away. We could make them discard all these cards, though. They just drew four cards. No fire. We don't get to no flip Bolas, but we can have them get rid of their entire hand. So that's probably pretty useful. Nice, we have a backup bolus. Oh, they just card Niv Mizzet. Whatever the other card is, it's gotta be pretty good. Now opponent realizes they probably should have waited on that explosion. I drew four cards and made him discard them all. So let's see. Let's attack here. Stick up here. No fire, no steel. Let's flip this. I thought I was fighting dragons. Let's kill that before me. Play this. Next turn we'll get Niv Mizzet. Hmm. All right, so we so we can have lethal here. So we steal the Colossus. Your crew for my freedom. Attack them for 12. Grab. And we could do it with Niv Mizzet also, but I'll just do it with Angrath. We'll grab Angrath back. And deal another two. No fire, no steel. <laughs> can you do a stream where you dress up and talk like Angrath? And give the vest no fire, no steel. No fire, no steel. I don't I don't have like an Angrath cosplay thing. So this is gonna be tough for us to win overall. Like we got pretty fortunate that their hand was not very good. 
early on. I think I'm going with Diva Sanity here. Instead of Campaign. I think I want Thief. What else am I not playing though? Like maybe I'm just not playing all these duresses. Duress is pretty nice though. I guess coil doesn't kill stuff. But I still want to keep soot to kill things. So this is 63. That's 61. I do like discovery because dispersal is important against guild summit. But maybe I can trim one of those. I could take out one soot. Maybe I'll take out one soot. Yeah, I can do that. Yeah, we don't really want to flood on soot with like a high CMC and you know, if we're going going with Eva Sanity, so it's going to be a little worse there, too. Here's a fun, janky interaction that I'm toying with. Using Skilled Animator to make an artifact creature allows you to use spells like Quasi-Duplicate to copy them. They won't be creatures, but you'll have a token version of it. Basically, i.e. a token of treasure map that's fully functional. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know exactly what you're going to do with that, but you could do something cool with that. Yeah, where's my Tristani? What happened to my Tristani? Oh, there's Tristani. Tristani's not a planeswalker now, but you can you can have... She's a guild leader. You can, you can get the different guild packs and you get the guild leader for your avatar. No more lands. We really don't need any more lands, Dad. Come on. We need our Thief of Sandy to survive. And we need our opponent not to have a Gatebreaker Ram. We need our opponent basically to not have anything. And us have stuff. Okay. That did not work. Ral is the guild leader, I believe. Because that's why Ral's the mythic. Oh. Where else also planeswalker? I believe all like the those mythics are the I believe all the guild leaders are mythics. Yeah, Niv's the Perun and Ral is the Viceroy. I don't really know which one of those is which, as far as guild leaders go. We're pretty dead. I don't even have two basic lands in my deck. Alright, not sure these thieves are better than Disinformation Campaign would have been. I 
right, so y'all are saying that the Perun means the guild leader, the founder of the guild. Alright, so I'm not feeling like the Thief of Sanity was necessarily a good idea. I guess we're going back to disinformation campaign. Basically just our main deck. Just cutting the four lava coils. Let's get another sit back in here. Like basically replacing lava coil with negate. Like taking out lava coil, putting in three negate and a ral. Let's try this. Yeah, Gates is a tough matchup for us. Is how they have just cards that are just incredibly powerful. They have such such big creatures that are difficult to deal with. They have spells like Guild Summit that just draw so many cards. Same with Explosion, same with Krasis. So everything they do is difficult for us. The main things for Thief to be stealing are their interaction spells. Like, we can be taking opponents' expansions and negates and even crisis. Stuff like that. Alright, not turn it down, turn two as can't. Uh, I think that's going to be important to helping us out here. Um, I have a couple different gruel lists. I mean, all, all of my lists are uh, ex like with there with the decks. That's where you can find all the decks. I have like a Gruel Stompy deck, uh, Gruel Frenzy I like quite a bit, and of course you can see all the videos on the YouTube channel also, go to the YouTube channel and um, youtube.com slash ToddStevensMTG. While Bolas would have been good for the, the next turn, I really wanted to find something to do this turn. Or Bolas just kind of turns on their removal. Wow. What did they keep? They keep Negate here? Hmm, alright. Well, you get an Angrath. So they need two black sources before they can even play Contempt. That's difficult to acquire. I know this turn I'm playing Angrath, but then the next turn I'll have six mana, and I feel like Discovery is a good card to have the next turn. <clears throat> no fire, no steel. And we can see our opponent having Cast Down in their deck. I don't, I don't have any targets for Cast Down. But they think that we have Thief of Sanity, so they're keeping the cast down. No fire, no steel. I did put campaign back in and take out Thief. I did. Do they have another expansion? Oh, that's annoying.
Yeah, they can cast down creatures that we steal with Angrath, I suppose. I'm definitely taking campaign. Do I want ritual of set? Probably. I should probably just want a removal spell. I guess the problem with taking it, if I would have put it over there, that would have been sick so that we could potentially flip as can to the next turn. It safe. No fire, no steel. Keeping these removal spells. They're at nine right now. Ooh. I'd rather have contempt than crisis. that thing out of there. Campaign great. Your crew for my freedom? <laughs> A fair price. Oh, that's a great draw for our opponent. Increases their resources like that. That's a great draw for them. That really is. Fire, no steel. So we'll see if we find uh, Nicol Bolas. Okay, not yet. Go and activate this. We'll grab a backup Angrath. In case we found Discovery, I'd be able to cast Discovery there. No fire. No steel. I could, of course, just dispersal and just make them discard a card. Oh, my, my Nicky Bees. I'll just do that. Yeah, that's fine. So, just draw a step before they play anything. Like, Whatever their card is in draw a step, we'll just have them dispersal it. We gotta get more discard. We have a we have a a discard deck. There we go. Jolner, how do you think that we could have killed our opponent that turn? All right, wanna know? Man, three D cards are awesome. So far, undefeated with three D cards. We were not able to play the Jeskai Wizards yesterday. It ran out of time, so it's on the docket for today. As you see there. And Grass Ultimate is at 8 loyalty. We had 5 loyalty ticking up to 6 there. Not able to do that, unfortunately. Angrath was not that loyal. It's because we minused the Angrath two turns before. Yeah, main deck duress. Come on. Come on. Hmm. 
want to bowl us eventually, but not necessarily right away. So, I think our opponent was pretty smart for taking the campaign. Oh, I guess, well, maybe not. Alright. Ascanta was the card I wanted to find, but now the Ascanta... I should have I should have flipped these. I should have put Discovery on top first. Okay, they didn't have the counter spell. But I should have flipped those, so, or they didn't have a discard spell. No, not you. You. I guess they had a second Erasure, though. Or they had a, they had a Thought Erasure. So yeah, they should have taken Thought Erasure with this one, and then Campaign with this one. But I guess they were worried that I would take another, have another discard effect. Hmm. We're going to need these boluses eventually. We need to hit more land drops. I'll take those. I'll have backup Angrath. Gate is rude. Yeah, it's a new new update for today that you can um, get these 3D cards today. They cost a lot of gems. And so we got some cards, not a ton, but we got some. They have counter magic for this, and they just didn't counter campaign. That shows some good patience. Yeah, you just buy the individual cards. Thought Erasure is probably my favorite one. This card looks incredible. Like, that looks really 3D, and I love the border on that one. That card looks really nice with, like, basically just no border. Like, you can still, like, see, like, the lava coil border and everything. You just don't even, like, notice it at all. Like, it looks really nice. All right, so Demir stuff. Certainly need to be worried about Thief of Sanity. I think I, I, think I just kind of stay control, keeping all my removal for the most part. Maybe trim, like, two Ritual of Suts. Maybe play a Moment of Craving. Have, like, another instant speed card. Like, a, a two-mana card, I mean, that, that kills Thief of Sanity. I think I want Duress and Negate as well. How am I fitting Duress and Negate in here, though? We were pretty fortunate to have Ascanta advantage. Last game. I just cut Soot all together. I guess I still have four moment, one craving. That's probably enough. Uh... They are 400 for a common, 600 uncommon, 800, these are gems, 800, or sorry, 1,000 for a rare, and 1,200 for a mythic. So if you want Seraph of the Scales, that would be 1,200. And I'm not sure if Seraph of the Scales is one. You know, like, not every single card has, has them.
I would think Seraph of the Scales would have one. I'm glad I have this moment of craving in the deck. This one random moment of craving. Tilt. Don't take my moment and then just have a Thief of Sanity on turn 3 that kills me, please. Okay. And instead, they get rid of my, my best card. Uh... Yeah, the, the 1200 would be for all of your... That would include all four copies of that one card. You know, so like that counts like all four copies of Lava Coil and so on. It's like a playset. You have to own the card and then and then get the... Spend the gems for the other part. The negate, the negates you get as part of a bundle where there's they have like one a gem pack that's a $15 gem pack that you get as much as many gems as you n would normally get for $20. So you basically they're like, you know, they're just incentivizing people to buy gems. So you get $5 off a gem pack and you get one one card of each color. You get the negate, duress, and the other ones aren't as special, but you get negate and duress to go along with those. Yeah, healer's hawk, gift to paradise. They could have definitely chosen better than healer's hawk. Even just looking at the white weenie decks, most all of them don't play healer's hawk. They could have at least chosen like dauntless bodyguard or something that a lot of them use. And shock, yeah. I kind of wish they would have done lightning strike instead of shock, because I think lightning strike's kind of a better card there. Do we get to flip bolus? Ooh. We need to just draw land. There we go. We get a new bolus. I have defeated death. The dead shall serve me. <laughs> no fire, no steel. Boom. That'll do. Grixis discard is two and O. Oh. Hey, we got twenty gems. Good, we're gonna need those. I just realized I have exactly twenty five thousand gold. That's pretty rare. So we have we have similar deck to our opponent there, but we have Angrath and Bolas, and the Angrath and Bolas were just so clutch in those games. This hand looks nice. Oh, no blue mana? I was just like looking at this. I was like, wow, this looks awesome. But no blue mana. We're on the draw. We have 16 blue sources in the deck. I think I'll keep. 
Ooh, we finally play against somebody with with their own sleeves. This is our first time, so we're playing against Demir Sleeve Stomping Ground opponent. I should probably choose the Nullhide Ferox, right? Disinformation campaign, not so good against the Nullhide Ferox deck. Our opponent's a jerk. <laughs> Haven't played against Nullhide Ferox in a long time. Yeah, new update today after Wizard. Different looking cards and sleeves. I got the Selesnia sleeves. Not good. I don't, I don't think we're going to win this. Nullhide Ferox is such a huge problem. Bushi11 getting the gifted sub from After Wizard. After Wizard coming on in here and to bring in the hype. Thank you, Santa After Wizard. One of five. Remember, if I if I play Bolus or Campaign, they get a free Nullhide Ferox. And Nullhide Ferox just also matches up really well against my removal. I just don't I don't have anything to kill it except for Contempt. So we're just dead. I wouldn't usually want to bring in Thief in this kind of matchup, but I may need to. Thief can at least get me their creatures that can block Nullhide. This is tough, though. Nullhide, Phoenix, a fast clock with other creatures. This is going to be tough for us. And Jason Bourne also getting that gifted sub. Let's get some more hype boats in the chat for After Wizard gifting a sub here. Same with Future. Future HS. Uh, it gets us down to 103. There we go. Love it. Sneaky Pepper, Disposable Hero. Thanks, y'all, for getting those hype in there. Same with a little cheeky. Let's see. So I guess this is what we're trying. This is going to be tough for us to win. Our opponent's countering our whole strategy with these Feroxes. The, yeah, the... The new card appearance is part of the update. You um, need to spend gems to upgrade your cards to be 3D cards. Not all the cards have it. Only some cards do. There you go. They're purchasable, purchasable cosmetic upgrades. That's what I can say. Ooh. Gray draw step here. We can see if we can protect Thief. Alright, 
So now we can protect the or we protect the thief a little bit. And now we have to protect us from dying. Which does mean I need more do need more lands. No lands? Okay. Third card was a land. That's a quick minus three. Does put Domri at two loyalty. I'm not finished with you. Not by a long shot. I want to play Nicol Bolas. But do they have Ferox? I really hope not. No Ferox, good. I believe you get the monthly reward for both limited and constructed of like wherever you're at as far as rank goes. Not 100% sure on that. Yeah, you can get card sleeves too. We got these Selesnia sleeves, they look nice. You do not get your Phoenix back. Like, if we would block, if we would trade there with, like, if they would attack with both their creatures and we would block both of them, for example, Rekindling Phoenix would die. We do not get it back. We'd have to have Rekindling Phoenix in our graveyard to get Phoenix back. So once Phoenix dies, you just get the, the 01, and then that's it. Because, yeah, it goes, goes back to the opponent's graveyard because it's their card. You can't have the opponent's cards in your graveyard ever. Oh, Quasi Dupla Ooze is ready to upload on YouTube. I gotta get some stuff typing with this. I'm, I'm not very confident we're going to win this game here. Oh, wait, this is the 27th. March 27th. That is published. So since they played the Goblin, I'm certainly expecting them to have another uh, Growth Chamber Guardian in their hand, just for how they played earlier. I, 
That's what, yeah, expecting them to have another growth chamber guardian. I want to keep the coil for Phoenix. <laughs> Maybe I'll hang on Let's to this. Let's kick this madness into high right. gear. I just want to bedevil that thing before. The problem is if they would have, like, Ferox, we'd be, like, forever away from killing a Ferox with that thing gone. Definitely hoping they do not have Ferox. Good. No Ferox. No, Ascanta and Bolas are not in bundles. You can you can just go to the, your collection, and there's a button in the top right hand corner that shows all of the cards that are available. You should quit before you get your teeth kicked in. Pitiless Pontiff. Okay, we'll have to take a look at that one. Something gets in there. So I could use my mana better and contempt the Phoenix. But we need may need contempt for something else. This does allow me to cast Discovery where I want to look for Ritual of Soot to clean up these two creatures. Don't want land, don't want land. So we're taking five here. But we got Domri out of there. I'll be back after I've licked my wounds. You'll see. Hey, what's up, Raoul? Good afternoon. Yeah, it's... The 3D stuff is certainly expensive. I had a decent amount of gems on my account still from... that have just kind of been collecting and everything. We have six cards in the graveyard. Come on, Ritual of Sit. Ritual of Sit. Dang. So I could go... Coil, Growth Chamber, Thought Erasure, their last card. I take another five and go down to four. Or I could just go Coil plus Contempt here. Coil plus Activate as Kanta. Hmm. Basically, can I afford to take another hit from these? I guess we'll we'll just kind of see. I'm just going to play the Ral and kill Pelt Collector. I assume this kills Pelt Collector. Yeah. Uh, always nice to get out of the lab. Creature plus supercharged energy equals... Even though they get to kill Ral. Basically starting over, but starting over is good for us with having Ascanta. No amount of science is going to fix this. Hey, thanks for the host. Thank you kindly. 
We got some standard going on here. We're playing Grixis Discard. Uh, just basically Grixis Control based around uh, having the opponent discard cards because of Disinformation Campaign. We're currently 2-0 and in a really close game three here. Real close game three. Another coil. All right, not a coil, so we're gonna gonna have to take this. Go down to two. They could have a lot of things that kill us here. Lots of cards kill us. Yeah, these are we have the Selesnia card backs. The Selesnia Guild the card backs. Our opponent has these demure ones. Dang, null hide. All these we found these rituals, so it's way too late. We had to use too many good removal spells on these all these crappy cards. Got these rituals, so it's too late. Cost four, cost four. You can get them in the store. In the store, there's different options here. Uh, the guild bundles are where you can get like those. Like that's that's the sleeves that I have. I have the Selesnia one, which is which is gone now. Then you can get like our opponent had the Demir sleeves here, and so on. Undefeated streak over. Close. We needed, you know, we just needed the Ritual of Soot earlier, and then those other removal spells later, and we had the other removal spells first, and then all the Ritual of Soots later. Yeah, it is, it is certainly expensive. I guess this is an exquisite sleeve, because it makes a sound effect and lights up all right erasure and campaign let's get going So we certainly could wait on Erasure and start camp and be able to have campaign on turn three first. Just in case, I don't want to risk it that my opponent draws Jade Light Ranger on the next two turns, and then we die to a Jade Light Ranger. I don't want to risk it. You got the soul ring sleeves? Cool. Panther is also rocking the soul, soul ring sleeves also. I spent $15 and purchased the the $15 gem pack that is like, you know, that gives you the same amount of gems as $20 usually buys you. And you get duress and negate with that and I wanted the duress and the negate and so that's that's the one thing I spend and then besides that I had all the other gems on my account okay we have our opponent in top deck mode Now we just kind of keep drawing a lot more cards a turn. Even though it takes a lot of mana. I 
I guess I keep the coil. I don't know, maybe I shouldn't even be keeping the coil, honestly. So we'll find an Angrath or a Nicobolus one of these days. Uh, yeah, we had a Mono Black. We've been playing a Mono Black Zombies deck some. Uh, I haven't played it yet today, though. Like, we're going down. We're at Grix's discard right now. I haven't played it yet today. All four campaigns. We are really campaigning hard. to be moving to discard here. But I'm going to keep playing these. I'm not really activating as Kanta because I want... Oh, there we go. This will work. So I was going to say I want to find Bolas. Have no fire, no steel. Fire and fury. There really anything? No what are they getting back with Folly? No steel. Ranch Walker. Basically wondering if I want to cast Ritual of Soot yet, or wait. I don't really want a discovery here because then we have to pick up all these campaigns. And then we have to discard a bunch. Ah, I'll have you in chains next time. All right, so four for Bolus, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven to flip. So if we find it with discovery. All right, we didn't find it. I'm. I should probably just keep Contempt, though. We have four boluses in here. This is a crazy game. We're at 21 cards. Our opponent's at 41. <laughs> we've drawn a ton, but we have not... We've only seen one... One Angrath and no Boluses. Alright, let's try this again. I'm gonna mill myself out. Seriously, I've not found a single bolus yet. There's 17 cards left in our library. Alright, I'm activating this thing. Alright, so there's one bolus. I activated because of Angrath. Want to go find a second Angrath? <laughs> no fire, 
No steel. Deckmaster doesn't recognize the decks with the covers. Well, I don't think you could tell, even before with Deckmaster, I don't think you could tell how many cards they had. Did Could you? Because I know that's a, a common question that people ask. No fire, no steel. Have we seriously not found a Nicol Bolas yet? Alright, so one... <laughs> they put it way down at the bottom, obviously. Alright, there we go, finally. Ah, it's... It's getting jumpy now. All right, all I'm doing here is just bringing in Ral and cutting the duress. That's all I do in this matchup. It just, yeah, it just auto orders the cards for um, as Kanta, even though I believe you're supposed to be able to order them. But it just kind of orders it themselves. Keep Angrath, even though we don't have the fifth mana yet. I was really looking for a card like Ritual of Set. And that's okay. So they could play Vivian and kill Bolas, which is all you know always a bad thing for me. But this does set up pretty well. I was, okay, I was gonna say even if they had that, we would have Angrath steal the Jade Light and be able to attack the Vivian for two and be able to finish Vivian off. Ever seen water of your crew for my freedom? <laughs> A fair price. Yeah, you do have to change the cards on a per deck basis. So yeah, like whenever I start a new deck, I'll have to change all the cards kind of thing. No fire, no steel. <clears throat> so, Angrath does help out Dispersal as well. I, I think I don't even need to cast Discovery. I think I may just want these as Dispersals. We'll kind of see what happens. No fire, no steel. Hmm. Do they have a third negate in their hand right now? That would be annoying. Good, not a third negate.
Okay, they had another fine finality. No fire, no steel. Um, so dispersal again. Yeah. I'm glad they're keeping Midnight Reaper because I, I want them to have Midnight Reaper. Oh, dang it. I just used my dispersals. Are you kidding me? They have Carnage Tyrant? What a killer. Oh man, what a killer. No fire, no steel. I'm basically dead. I I've already used all these dispersals now. Your best start. Man, what a draw fast. step for them. Carnage You're tires. on your own. Could not have been any better. I need bolus, it's like the only thing. Or obviously dispersal. Bolus doesn't really help me though. I need something in the graveyard for it. I just need to find my fourth dispersal. It's not really playing around dispersal by playing their land. I I don't know how it'll work with import with importing, honestly. I honestly don't know how this will work with importing. Dispersal? No. Nope. Wow. Carnage Tyrant was a great draw exactly w when they needed it. So, all right, lesson learned. Not not everybody in Soul is playing Carnage Tyrant these days, but lesson learned. That was that was certainly a winnable game if I was more patient. Certainly a winnable game. More patient with Discovery Dispersal. I could even just, instead of, it's so like the last turn with the Dispersal on the Midnight Reaper, I was considering minus, my Angrath had three loyalty, and I was still considering minusing my Angrath, which would kill my Angrath, and stealing the Reaper from the opponent, and basically killing the Reaper and drawing a card. Because whenever we take the Reaper, we draw a card. That would have allowed us to keep that last dispersal in our hand for a Carnage Tyrant. It's just, in that position, it's just so unlikely that our opponent draws a Carnage Tyrant. You know, it's just not likely that they have Carnage Tyrant in their deck, one, and that they would draw it after they have it in their deck, two. I would say it'd be like zero Carnage Tyrant main and maybe two in the sideboard at most. Would be the numbers I would put on Carnage Tyrant for like a, a regular deck. Like if I was playing Soul Tide, I'd have zero Carnage Tyrants. I, I don't think you really need it. But some people play like one or two in the board. You do run into the occasional person that has a couple on the main though. So this hand is is amazing if we draw a land. Like we have to have our, our top card has to be a land. Because remember, we're on the play. We need a land for our second card. But double campaign is just and like on the play. You know, assuming we draw the land and then Discovery finds us another land. This hand is awesome on the play. Double campaign, Bolas, Angrath. Like, you just get rid of their hand. Like, this this hand, like, if we have a land on top, we most likely win. If we don't have a land, we most likely lose. We have 25 other lands. There's 26 total. So we have, a, like, a 25 and 53 chance of basically winning the game if this is a land. Yeah, it is, it is probably just too risky. I'm on the mulligan too, but it's so close. Yeah, I was going to mulligan there, but it is. It's 
so you pay a thousand gems and you get all of, like you get all four rares, but it's just one card. So Reaper and Jade Light. And just find finality. So I guess we're gonna take the find finality. Are they these are all tap lands, so they may not be able to play anything next turn. When he lands. Oh, they can play Jade Light Ranger. I don't know why I was thinking, because of that Drowned Catacomb. I was thinking they couldn't cast Jade Light Ranger. I should have taken Jade Light. HIC, you're pretty far behind. You may want to refresh your stream. Dang. We found a land. Campaign doing what campaign does. Helps keep our opponent off land drops. Even so, even if they draw, even if they top deck a Carnage Tyrant here, they won't be able to play it because they only have the five lands. Yeah, I had another 5 0 with Quasi Dupla Ooze, and it was real quick 5 0. I like the new cosmetics. I mean, they look, they look awesome, you know, and. Definitely like him. Ooh, blowing up a land, getting a jade light. Ooh, not keeping contempt. You're just fuel for the fires of freedom, Kerr. So yeah, Angrath takes a takes a hit here. They draw the a cheaper blade. creature. Swine. No fire, no steel. Hmm. Ooh, a bad bad thing. Let's get that out of there. Just keep on getting more Planeswalkers in play. And hoping our opponent does not draw a Carnage Tyrant for a minute. No fire, no steel. So I want I want to land. The only card I think I'm taking over a land. Well, I mean I want dispersal. Let's see what the wind blows in. If it's not dispersal. Then I'm taking land. Because I want want the land to be able to flip Bolas next turn. But I would take Dispersal over land. Because Carnage Tyrant's about the only thing I'm scared of right about now. Come on, I just want to peek. The weight is killing me. <laughs> no fire, 
no steel. So we know our opponent is going to cast Hydroid Crisis next turn. Uh, you know, drawing a bunch. So I can Ritual of Sit next turn with like the Crisis and the two Branch Walkers. Yeah, we've been bedazzling the decks. No fire. Discard that. No steel. Set those. And there we go. Three and one with Grixis discard. Nice, you got the Soul Ring Sleeves and the Is It and Boros Packs. I basically just had the cards from Quasi Dupla Ooze and Grixis Discard. I basically got almost all the cards in those two decks bedazzled that I could. And then I also got the Selesnia Pack. <laughs> Thanks, Hustle Duff. Yeah, this this particular deck, Grixis Discard, is um, a deck I've played a ton over the last month or so. If y'all are kind of new to the channel, you can see all my replays on the YouTube channel. Here's the link. And you can see me play this deck quite a bit on there. It's probably my most viewed deck. Thought Erasure is... Like, I, I've said this you know a bunch but you know we have new people coming in here all the time thought erasure is probably my favorite card with the with the new art and everything this card looks amazing hmm. i keep this on the draw with a scry oh i should be keeping that land because of discovery i was thinking i need black source but i don't necessarily need black source immediately with discovery Hello. I made that decision too fast to ship that to the bottom. I regret shipping that land to the bottom. That is a full hand right there. I'm looking for two more or two more lands. One of them being a black source and a ritual of sets. So ritual of sets like the the one card that can help us win here. We need it quickly. I don't even know if we can stay alive. So twelve. Do they have twelve right now? Three, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That would be eleven. So we could still get there. We have to get really fortunate. We have to get really fortunate now. No. No. Oh, I just had another Mistbinder? Man. Double Mistbinder after we made them discard one? Campaign's going to be pretty slow here. But the thing is, is, I'm not sure if I really want Duress and Negate. I guess I'm playing one campaign. Go two Duress, because they'll likely have counter magic. Yeah, Mono Creature's pre-board, but they have a sideboard. Sideboard's probably a lot of counter spells, like their negates and spell pierces and stuff like that. So I'll have two duress for that. Could certainly see playing Ral. Ral's maybe better than duress. 
Ooh, yeah, they can have that enchantment. That enchantment is a bit of a problem. We're going to play a Ral over the third Angrath for this matchup. With them being able to, like, they're already going to have their hand emptied. I don't want Thief. I don't... Like... Thief can hit and get, like, some crappy creatures. Or just... Or they just run it over. Like, the games that we win with Thief, we're probably winning without Thief. We don't have... Yeah, it's, it's unfortunate. Like, Huatli... There's no, like, cool card for Huatli. So it's like... It, it's extended art for the Bolas Planeswalker there. Perfect spell pierce for the opponent. And that's why they shocked in with the breeding pool, but I was just hoping that they were hoping they were bluffing. Because they don't want to like sit around till turn four for Ascanta. We already played a land this turn, and I figure we can find a land next turn between our draw step and another Ralph tick up. So we'll take the Ascanta, or maybe we have Ascanta plus Ritual Upset next turn. Alright, so they're not going for the 1 1 counters. Good aim. Four card drawn. Choose wisely, because the other one's going bye bye. We'll play around Spell Pierce. With the soot. I, have, I do think that Ral's better for us here than Angrath would have been, most likely. I should have tapped the bolus before they hit four. They took four, but oh well. Alright, game three. It certainly helps being on the play, so being on, being on the draw is going to be tough. You love your Quip Toothbrush? Dude, so do I, man. Quip Toothbrush is so nice. We've had a lot of people sign up so far. So we've had 22 people sign up with the Quip Toothbrush. Eight more will be doing a 12-hour stream. If you do sign up for a Quip Toothbrush, you get a free donation deck. So usually donation decks are $20. Uh, you can get the plastic toothbrush with the whole set, toothpaste, everything, uh, sent to you for $25. So for an extra $5 from normally... A donation deck you get a very nice dentist recommended toothbrush and it has uh like a lot of good directions in there and it's sculpted mine you think it's awesome too yeah it is it is awesome and you also get your first refill free as well i'll put the link here again if you go through my referral link there you get your first refill free which is a ten dollar value 
that's in three months. You don't have to think about it. You know, they just send you a new brush head uh, for your electric toothbrush and new tube of toothpaste as well. So definitely check it out. It's one of the best things you can do for your health is getting a nice toothbrush and just brushing your teeth all the time. I don't necessarily love where we're at right now. I hope this ritual of set resolves. Open that last card in hand is not a counter spell. Could I realist can I realistically play around it? No, I can't. So if I if I just played like one coil, they would just have the mis Merfolk Mistbinder everything so I couldn't play around it was well, not a counter spell though oh deep root waters blocker hold the line I would like to invite you to my block party. Be DJing all night. So let's see what our opponent has going on over here. card I like. We have to be worried about Trickster. Arian Light with the sub for the third month. Let's win all the matches. I'll try. Thank you so much, Light. I do appreciate that. All right, let's get rid of one of these deep root waters. So that's 102. We are almost down to 100 on our sub battle countdown. So I didn't dispersal the deep root waters on my turn because hmm it's risky playing the bolus or like it's, it's risky activating the bolus but I want to
But it is risky. If like Trickster, they win. My power is boundless. So we can draw a card with Silver Gold Adapt, but Silver Gold Adapt doesn't block very well. The only thing that blocks well is this Jade Light Ranger. Oh, it's another target Merfolk? It can't target itself? Oh, right, because that'd be just a one, one mana 2-2. Two, two. I assume, yeah, Kumana Speaker would be a 2-2, two, two, right? We have an island, right? Like, this is an island, Watery Grave. So this would be a 2-2. Two, two. Death. I mean, it's still me. us having one blocker to their two attackers, like if I didn't attack there. But we just don't have the Contempt available. My genius is unmatched. We'll be able to kill our opponent next turn. Don't really need to attack. All right, there we go. Final boss time. So we're gonna be able to just like, so we could attack for four in the air, put our opponent down to four, play Angrath, tick up to deal two, use our bolus over here to grab the other Angrath, tick up to deal another two. That was a way to do enough there. <sighs> some long games, some intense games there. But we're on the to the final boss playlist. Curtis discard is four and one. Hey, Kachi. Just... GG's. Those are some good games. Those really were. Really good, close games. You're calling Mono Red for the final boss? Ooh. It's looking like Esper. Esper is a pretty common final boss. Have not played Jeskai Wizards yet. We'll try it at the end of the stream tonight. Never mind. Bant Nexus. Well, this is a uh, pretty poor. Eh, it's, I guess it's kind of average hand. I guess it's not like super poor hand against Band Nexus. Knight of Autumn. Now that's just plain rude. What? Is this? All right, I don't know what's going on anymore. Except our opponent being rude. This could be a Hero Precinct 1 deck. We're seeing a lot of gold cards here with Thrilled Mystic, Knight of Autumn, and Law Mage's Binding, and Growth Spiral. Every single card they've played has been a gold card. Keep up the trust me. You'll thank me later. Keep up the trust me? I'm not so sure about that. I don't know if I want to keep up the trust me to fairy. It's only a matter of time. Tomb of the Guild Pack deck. Ow. I was just thinking that a lava coil would be pretty nice.
They're all gold spells. Everything. Flourish? Yeah, you got me. Huh. Play a sex require the carnarium. I kind of like everything in the in my deck here. Maybe a trim and Nangrath. Let's just do that. Okay. Yeah, cards like Duress, Negate, Moment Craving certainly have their uses depending on situations. But we can't play everything. Yeah, unclear what kind of answers they would have to Thief of Sanity, but if I'm going to want, like, sweepers, I don't really want Thief of Sanity. Well, that went the worst it possibly could. Negate for Campaign and then Night of Autumn for Search Roscanta. The absolute worst that could possibly happen. It's still not... Oh, Negate. They have played a non... They have played a non uh, non gold card. Uh, so they are the hero of Precinct One deck. To equip the, the sleeves you got, you can do it in in the deck builder. There's a picture of sleeves, uh, like near where the deck name is. It's kind of a tough call of whether to trade Bolas or Bedevil with Knight of Autumn. Like if they have Teferi, I'm going to want this Bedevil. If they have a Disdainful Stroke. I'd rather not block here. It's possible I should just be taking the damage. Carnage Tyrant? Come on. I'm not expecting Carnage Tyrant. Be using my mana here and basically saving the little bit of life that we can by casting that the devil. Witness omnipotence. Ah. 
I know what must be done. <laughs> So ignoring Bolas. I can have two blockers next turn. Isn't death amusing? I guess I should just cast this first anyway, though. I should just cast that first. Just to see if we would have hit dispersal there. We didn't, but. We didn't, so it's all good. Alright, we got our fortified front. Our two blockers. Yeah, deputy is target. I always have an answer. Oh, that's risky. Even not grabbing Knight of Autumn is risky here. I was hoping we'd draw something. But we didn't. Oh, this is risky. Ugh. Should have just grabbed Knight of Autumn. Stand by and you need to take a time out. Uh went. Didn't go with the safe route there with us, you know, being able to untap. Could have gone really safe and just grabbed another Knight of Autumn. For just having another blocker. Even just gain four life and have, you know, like, the two one can, can trade with the others. So I, I think I could have, I think I could have got that game. I... I was so greedy there of taking up. So, for who was asking about changing the sleeves, they, you just go here to change the sleeves. So we did not get there. Um, besides that, Grixis discard though, of course, is. Still very good. It's not too easy of a deck to play. The games are really long and, and complicated and stuff like that. You usually have a lot of decisions. That's why it's such a fun deck to play. And we ended up making the wrong decision there that last turn. You know, could have played it safe, got another Knight of Autumn. And I didn't. I tried continuing to turn the corner, drawing more cards. Um, you know, we got to untap previously with that and you know we were dead to it if we if we bricked and if our opponent drew a removal spell we were dead and that's what happened we bricked our opponent drew to fairy which is a removal spell and we died so there we go <clears throat> all right so if you are uh watching this video later on on youtube thanks for watching and i will see you for